Hello and thanks for watching this short video. My name is Woody Adams and we're going to look at another report that you can create using QuickBooks Advanced Reporting, that module that comes with any level of your QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions 15 and above. So I'm going to go to Reports, Advanced Reporting. You need to be in multi-user mode. I'm not going to update now, I just did it about 20 minutes ago, but because it's an add-on, it needs to pull the data from, you know, your updated data from Enterprise. So make sure you do update it before you go ahead and create a report to make sure you have all the the most accurate current data that the report can pull from. I'm going to skip it for now and we give you the canned reports. I'm going to go ahead and basically be creating this sales dashboard with commissions. Let me just show you what it looks like. And I have some charts and graphs and some tables on it. But what I wanted to point out is I put in a commission rate and I have a column here for commission. And so when I change the rate, it's going to update, let's do point 10, it's going to update the column. And so you can figure out exactly what the commission is for your employees to then go cut them a check. It's something that just, you know, QuickBooks just doesn't do on its own. Or you're using Excel or something like that, or Access or Crystal Reports, you know. So, and this is really what advanced reporting is going to allow you to do. But how do you build something like that and link a particular rate that whenever I type it in, it actually changes the amount in the commission column on this particular sales transaction expression or table, if you will. It's really a table, not so much expression. Expressions would be the columns. So it's the table on blank can canvas. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to click close, not save the report. Go to your list. Start from scratch, click open. You can just go ahead and start by right clicking and adding what you need. So I'm just gonna start by adding sales from the last 12 months, just double click on it. There, gives me my kind of blank canvas and I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it up a little bigger so you guys can see it. And I'll do top 10 items last 12 months and it's pie chart. We like the pie charts. I'm also going to, under text and utility, do a ribbon date, which will put the ribbon across the top. I'm going to go ahead and add a table for sales transactions, because that's really where we're going to be doing the meat of it primarily. And then the list box, I'm going to add customer jobs, these things you can filter by, sales reps, of course, which I really just have Dan there, and I'll do class as well, and sales transaction types. I also forgot, you want to add the current selection under text and utility. And again, you might as well do the report title if you want. And that should be enough really for us to start. Um, and then you can, you know, you can see how the filtering works. I mean, I haven't really done anything. I could filter by Abercrombie. I could filter just for Dan. Um, I could filter for new construction. And I have nothing in NSF. So you see, I mean, right away the filtering starts working. I could look at just say invoices. And then you can remove the actual filters just by clicking the little erase, or I can click the drop down for the list and I can look at invoice as well as, you know, control click sales receipt. And now I have sales receipt and invoice. And I'll just go ahead and uh, take those away for now. The report looking at, you know, all the data that I have. So those are your filters there. Okay, so what you do to really get things going is right click properties. Here are the, the columns. I'm going to be adding a column for commission. And here are the dimensions. And it's just looking at transaction type, you know, invoice sales receipts, basically, for this. And that's all we're really going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and add a column or an expression for commission. So you click Add. And I'm going to go find it. The uh, I want to mount with sign. So I'm going to go down to Transactions. And then you go to the Field. So the table is transactions, and then the field is transactions amount with sign. And then you click paste, it's going to put it up there. And then I can go ahead and multiply it by, say, 15% just to start. And it's just, you know, the asterisk sign for multiplication. There's no space. Then I just did a dot or a period, 0.15, period. Click OK. And then I can call it, you know, the label is going to be the title for the column. And that's going to be commission. And that's if you have it set always at, like, 15%. So when I click apply, watch over here, a column will be added to the sales transaction table. And there I have commission there. And that's, you know, for that particular period of time I'm looking at, that's the commission. Now I want to put the commission column in, you know, a dollar amount. So you right click, go to properties and I can choose commission and then just go to number up here along the top. And then commission, I want to be money. You apply that and amount I should have 
be money as well to apply that. Click OK. So little things like that too. So now let's get a variable commission rate in there because this is always going to be 0.15. So right click on the open area. You're going to add an input box, new sheet object, input box. So you're not going to properties at this point, just new sheet object, input box. And we're going to call it commissions. And we're going to add a new variable called commission rate. And you click OK. And there's the commission rate, but we have to link, you know, so I, stuff I put in there like 0.25 or 0.30, oh, I got to link it to this column. I want to go back to properties for sales transactions. Right click. So you got the input box called commissions, commission rate equals, right? So it's variable. But in order for it to reflect the last column there in my sales transaction table, I go to properties. I'm going to go to expressions, commission. And instead of multiplying by 0.15, it's going to be commission rate. And you have to have quotes. You're going to have quotes in the beginning and the end. That's important. And then when I click apply and click OK, see it's zero. Now when I put in a commission of, say, 0.20 and hit enter, there's my commission there in the column. So the input box can be used for almost anything. I, I could see people using that just for determiners or variable changes to a report, and you just type it in, hit enter, and it updates the appropriate column. Hopefully you saw other things that you can now then apply to other reports you're trying to build that have nothing to do with sales.